So you can guess what we are about to do over here. Peace everyone and welcome back to a brand new Freisti series. We made it back to Lake Como, Giuliano and I. And as always, I'm on a, on a, on a mission, a kind of a mission again. Since I saw Giuliano pump foiling in the eyes of Engadin, I decided I have to do this. I got hooked to this sport. I never even thought about learning pump foiling. But since I saw this, I know I really, really want to learn this. Giuliano told me it's very, very hard and I can tell you it is very hard. I tried it out for two days now and the furthest I got was about five meters on the foil. It's super, super sketchy. But luckily we've got this kind of a dox dart thing over here in my hometown at Lake Como. And yeah, this is what we're gonna do right now. Setting the gear up and start the day with a pump foil session before we hit the water on a kite and a windsurf board. See you soon. The longest distance I ever pumped, filmed by Giuliano. So sick at this place over here. I think I learned a lot today. Now it's time to have breakfast and then we hit the water <laughs> with kite and windsurf gear. See you on the water. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Once again, I wanted a bit too much over here with my early morning coffee. Well, the pump foil session was a blast and I was so stoked at the beach that I was not able to say anything smart about pump foiling. And I really can recommend this to you guys if you want to learn it. I mean, to me, this is literally, literally dancing on the water. You don't need any wind, you don't need anything. The only thing you need is a foil and a board. If you want to learn it, make sure you don't want too much in the beginning because learning pump foiling the first two or three days is very, very frustrating. It's very, very gnarly to be honest. Check out my feet, all those scratches over here and stuff. This is from kind of climbing up to the dock after every single start because once you fall, you knew now you have to climb up again and retry again. Take it easy. The journey is what it's all about. And if you spend time on the dock, you will learn pump foiling 100%. Well, for today, the wind looks very, very promising. Over here at two o'clock, we have 10 nuts, nuts ground speed. And this is basically the ground current. But on top of this current, I expect thermic and that could easily end up in 25 nuts. So I hope we will get a big air session on my 9 square meter XR. That would be very, very dope in Geralario over there. Some kind of small kickaways for takeoff. And yeah, let's do it all together. Sarah, Giuliano and I, let's hit the water in Jela.
nine is just not big enough for kite loops. <laughs> this is like the sketchy wind strength when the loops are not catching. <laughs> this is nine, so I'm gonna switch to the 13.5 and do some old school. Since I started kite surfing, I was always wondering how it would be to sit on a windsurfer's nose. And I didn't know if this is possible. But you guys found out now, and I found it out as well, it is possible and it was a whole lot of fun. Now we are back at the pumping dock over here. Over there you see Giuliano pumping for an evening session. And I really found out what I have to change. If you look at Giuliano's arms, you see them swing. He kind of swings his arms around and this gives him energy during the pump. And this is what I need to learn right now. Yes! Trocken wieder da! Sick! <laughs> I think like this we can end the vlog of today. Thanks for watching guys. That was epic. Ooh.